So hello. Hello. Good Lovely morning. Lovely to meet you. How nice. are you? I'm very well, Rosie. Nice I to meet you too. Been a fan of yours since the Remington Steel days. Oh, thank you. Love that show. Thank you. Yeah, I did some growing up on that show. Yeah. How long was it on? It was on for about. It was on for four years and six episodes. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Well, the six episodes, uh, because after the fourth year, they offered me this role bond. Right. And then and they I remember that they said they wouldn't let you out or something. Was that a... Exactly that. Yeah. They wouldn't let me out of the contract. And uh, the late Cubby Broccoli, who was the producer of the movie, said, look, you can have them for six episodes, but no more than six. And there was a ticking clock. It was a 60-day clause in the contract. On the di 60th day, the studio said, we want the option of 22. Cubby Broccoli said, no way. And that was it. Lost the job, did the six episodes, and then they canceled it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You auditioned for that. It was your first big thing, wasn't it? For Remington? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I came here. I went to America. I came to America, Los Angeles, 16 years ago. And my late wife and I came over, thanks to Freddie Laker. Got cheap flights. <laughs> right. Went, went to rent a rec Rented a car from rent a rec Went over the hill, Mulholland, uh, or Laurel Canyon, and uh, got a job, Remington Steel. Now, had you, you had acted before, I take it. Oh, yeah. I've been Stage an actor. stuff? And yeah, sure. I've been an actor since I was 18 years of age. And, um, you know, I did a lot of rap, a lot of BBC work. And then I got this mini-series called The Manions of America. Oh, right. Which was about the Irish potato famine. And I did that. And so when that came out, uh, Cassie and I said, let's go to America and see what happens. And I got lucky. And I'm glad that you did. Yeah, so You are perfect as James Bond. Oh, thank you. But growing up watching it, did you ever think, I'd like to do that? Oh, sure. Well, I, I don't know whether I wanted to do that, but I mean, I didn't want to be James Bond, but I fell in love with the movies. Right. I mean, I was only a lad. I was about 10 years of age, and it was 1964. And um, I remember going to the movies with my mother and father, and the first movie I ever saw, and it was in Technicolor, was Goldfinger. So really? it was unbelievable. But I didn't want to be James Bond, but I thought, oh my God, this is an incredible experience. The next week we went to see uh, Lawrence of Arabia, and then my hero was Clint Eastwood, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you have, you've met him, I take it, since? Yeah, I've met Clint. Is it odd for you to be like, oh, that's the guy from the movies? When yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, you get a real tickle, yeah. I mean, sure. when, I, when, when you meet someone who you really like and dig and kind of, you know, you have a... You go to their movies and you meet them, and even though you're an actor and you meet many famous people, but when you meet Clint, it's like, oh, there's Clint Eastwood. Yeah. It's kind of like meeting Barbara Streisand, <laughs> who you were a little mean to, might I add, in that film you did with her. I was not mean to Your her, Your character Rosie. was mean to her, yes, I was you not mean oh, to her, Oh, please, Rosie. you dissed her no, no. until she had a big makeover, then you loved her? That's cruel. Well... <laughs> that was cruel to do to my Barbara. Oh, you love your Barbara, don't you? So much. You have no idea, Pierce. You love I adore her. I know. I, know. I love I her so this. much. Well, I love her too, actually. I got on with, with her like a house on fire. You know, you hear all these stories and stuff like this, but I want to say, I thought she was great. Were and, you a little uh, intimidated? Because it is... No. You weren't. I wasn't, actually. Because then again, I wasn't... Because she's not Clint Eastwood. Right, you know? exactly. <laughs> she's not Jack Nicholson. For me, know? Clint Eastwood, I enjoy him. If he was on the show, I'd be happy. But yeah. not, you know, crying in diarrhea like Barbara Streisand yeah. for me. She, oh, has I, she done the show? She did. She did it? I'm going to send you a tape. I started to cry. Did you really? Yeah, I did. Because, oh, you know, for two years, a year and a half we've been on, and I've been saying, Barbara, can you hear me? Come on. But I never thought she would. And then when they said she would come, diarrhea for two weeks, Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I had kaopectic every day of my life. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it and how was, was the show? What was it like when she came on? It was good. I started to cry because she reminds yeah. me very much of my mom who died when I was 10. Right. And my mom used to love her and listen to her records, so I started to cry when she came out. And then she started to cry. Then I felt bad that I was making her cry, so then I stopped <laughs> because I don't want to well, do anything yeah. to hurt her, you know? Yeah. I adore her so much. But you didn't and have to go to the lure or anything like that. There was no kind of... The diarrhea ended yeah. as soon as she came Is out. It? Yeah, it stopped. <laughs> I, I felt like, ooh, finally I'm a little normal again. But uh, you know what was odd is that she was nicer than I had imagined and more, you know, sometimes uh, you think people aren't going to be able to live up to what your expectations well, are. Well, uh, yes, I mean, I, <sighs> she's a very big star, but uh, I didn't have nerves. She made me very comfortable and it was easy. It was easy working with her. Yeah, was it, was, I love that movie. You do? Yeah. I love every movie she does. Yeah. Yeah, I have them all on Laserdisc. Really? Yeah. My God. No, she's a good woman. Yeah. Very I remember good. when I was a little kid, my, bro my father took my two brothers to see Diamonds Are Forever, the Bond mm. movie. And I must have been nine years old or something when that came out. And he wouldn't take my sister and I because we were too young and it was rated 
PJ or something or mm -hmm. R. Yeah. And so my sister and I used to say, Diamonds are forever, sexy, sexy. Because that's what we thought all those James Bond movies are sexy. Well, they are. They're supposed to be sexy. This I mean, one is pretty sexy. This one is pretty cool, actually. I think this one delivers in spades. A um, lot of the double entendres you got going on there. Yeah, they're good. They're good. They're, they're nice. Great. And Dame Judi Dench. I love her, too. She is wonderful. She's she great. really is a class, class act. I mean, she's really cool. She did the last one that you did as mm -hmm. well, yeah. Mm -hmm. she, did, uh, she did the last one. And she is a woman. There's a woman who is an incredible actress. I mean, amazing. And the first time we worked together was on GoldenEye. And we were sitting in this warehouse around a little fire heater. Nothing's glamorous. It was in the middle of winter. And we're about to work together for the first time. And it was a five-page scene. And I said, do you get nervous doing this? And she said, terrified. Absolutely terrified, darling. Really? And I said, what about the stage? And she said, oh, no, that's even worse. That's even worse. She said, I just like to be downstage, facing upstage in a nice blonde wig. Really? You know. Now, that's hard to believe because she yeah. seems so regal and, you know. No, well, when you, you know, but she was absolutely just scared. I mean, well, she's great. She's great in the movie. Brilliant. And brilliant. brilliant. I yeah. agree. Do we have a clip here, Andy, or do we go to the commercial, then do the clip? Clip? We, commercial. commercial. I'm sorry. See how prepared I am, Pierce? That's good. I'm sorry about it's that. It's all right, Rosie. Uh, I want to say congratulations on your new baby, and I love Keely Shea Smith from America's Most Wanted. No, she I is. love Thank her. Thank you. Yeah, well, she's so great do I. on that. When she was pregnant on that, it was even more adorable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I we'll love talk it too. about you and the nursing thing on the cover, yeah. which was so ridiculous. Silly. And your cute little boy in here after yeah. the break. Don't go away. James Bond is here. <laughs> it gives you more compassion. I agree. It just makes your heart bigger. Yeah. Experiences of life that you take yeah. from to do stuff like this. Back with Pierce Brosnan, and let me just say, your new son, a beauty. Look at him here, cutie patootie. What's his name, that little boy? Name's Dylan. Dylan, and we have even a cuter picture of you and him in here. Let me just get this. Dylan how, Thomas. How old is he now? He's 11 months. He's 11 months old. Look at that, how cute mm. he is. Well. <laughs> now, there was a, a big controversy. Unsolved Mysteries, not America's Most Wanted. I'm sorry, I said Unsolved that. Mysteries. That's okay. But here, there was a big controversy because on Redbook, on the non-subscriber issue, is, um, yeah, you guys and the baby breastfeeding. Yes. And people, like, freaked out about this. They did. They what the hell is that about? I don't know. I mean, it's an innocent photograph. It really is very... It was it's a, a beautiful photograph. Storm in a teacup, really. Yeah, it's not yeah. like you guys are in S&M gear and the baby's all harnessed up. <laughs> it's a beautiful shot of a child eating. What is the deal with people? Yeah, I don't know. I don't I get don't that. Know. It's very it American, don't you think, for us to be all freaked out about it? It is a little bit, yes. I mean, especially traveling in Europe, that because the story broke in Europe and they were all wondering why America was up in arms over the whole thing. But, you know, it's a celebration of our love and our child. And right. uh, there you go. It's an innocent photograph. Get over it. Yeah, get over it, America. Uh, how do you deal with the diapers? Are you a good I'm diaper good. dad? Yeah, I'm yeah. good. Yeah. Seems to be a normal question that I get asked all the time. But yeah, I change the diapers. Sure. I'm good at diaper changing. And it's great being a father, you know, this time around. I'm 44, life is pretty good. Career's going well so far. You know, it's always full of surprises being an actor. But being a father at this age is just magic. And you have just three magic. other children, one who is still at home. I have Sean. Actually, the two lads are with me here in New York. We're going off to Jamaica. And how is he dealing with having a new baby? Does he love it? Good. I mean, he's 14 years of age. He's dealing with life. He's dealing with his own hormones. He's dealing with girls. He's dealing sure. with school. He's dealing with, you know, dad and, you know, a new partner in life. And sure. uh, those are big things to deal with. It's very hard. So you're kind of constantly talking and just saying, you okay? We all right? This is what's happening. This is what we're doing. Well, that's so, good because, you know, back when I was a kid and uh, my mom had died, we, there was no talking, which yeah. is so important nowadays. And I think... You know, parents didn't know maybe in 72 what to do in that situation of grief for the child. But no, there's you know, dying is a big taboo here. You don't talk about it, that's it. It's all hush-hush and it happens behind closed doors. But, you know, you do have to talk about it. It's part of life. Yeah, especially, you mm. know, for, for a child and to keep his mom a alive and present for him. You know, yeah. everything was sort of taken away of my mom's and it's still still hard for my siblings and I in, right. in terms of that. Yeah, I remember seeing you talking about it actually on that show you did. I can't remember, I just clicked on one night. Yeah, but, but you do have to keep a, an open line of communication with your children. You do have to talk about, you know, the parent that's gone. You do have to kind of celebrate and acknowledge the birth dates and stuff like this. Right. And just say this was her birthday, and you kind of toast. And uh, you know, we did that the other night, and it's great. You know, so that's makes them stronger. That. Yeah, it does. I yeah. think. And how does he uh, respond to your fame? Does he find that troubling or cool at fourteen? Um, I think he's kind of leveled off now. I mean, two years ago when Golden Eye hit. I mean, in the days of Remington Steele, it was such a kind of lovely, gentle, nice little hit, but not like with Bond. I mean, right. living with Bond is big. Yeah. Uh, and when it happened with, you know, Goldeneye, he, he 
he rocked and shook a little bit there. Yeah. You know, he didn't like it because he said, I don't want to be mini James Bond and stuff right. like this. But now he's standing tall and, uh, you know, suddenly there's girls in his life. Of course, and that's what's more important. Yeah. But now he's saying to them, I'm Bond, Sean Bond. You know he's doing <laughs> that, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> Do whatever it takes know. at 14, I think. But he's strong, and you have to keep him in check. And you just also, because it's unreal. You know, it's, yeah. a, it's an unreal. I've been an actor since I was 18 years of age. You know, and it's a funny old business. It's full of surprises. You right. have it, goes away. You have it, it goes away. And it's a business, you know, it's my job. It is. That's what I do. And so. you're good at it. You Thanks. are. And it's, right. a, it's a great movie. It is. It really is. And we have your co-stars coming out. Michelle yeah. Yeoh, who uh, you guys worked really well together. Yeah. It was uh, so fun to see uh, a woman kicking butt. She's great. With James Bond. She's really good. The female James Excellent. Bondish uh, on the uh, Chinese side. Uh, please uh, stay tuned for Michelle Yeoh. Yeo, up next. Right up next. Our next guest gives new meaning to the term shaken and stirred. She's a new breed of Bond girl and she kicks butt. Please welcome the queen of kung fu, Michelle Yeoh. <laughs> Together at last again, you two. How are you? Good. Lovely to see you again. Thank you. First off, you back. are so great in the movie. Oh, thank you. I had fun doing it. You know, if you have to be handcuffed to someone, <laughs> make sure it's Pierce Brosnan. Not a bad guy to be <laughs> cuffed to. Not a bad guy to be handcuffed to, yes. You say the damnedest things, woman. <laughs> now, when you were on last time, you were Michelle Khan. Michelle Khan. Yes. yes. And you... I got into so much problems with that. Um, well, Michelle Kahn was his name that was adopted for me by uh, the European market. And, uh, you know, I thought when I came out here with Supercop, people already knew me by that name here in the West, and we figured it'd be okay to use it. Right. But when I got back to the East, uh-oh, they was like, did you get married? You know, do, is there something we need to know about? It's like, you are Michelle Yo, so let's not get into any complications, no more problems, it's Michelle Yo. But now yeah, that's your real name. That is my Michelle real name. Yeo. Yeah, your it is full my name. name. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you just changed it for showbiz and they were not having it. No, they were not having it. Pretty much. Yeah. And I couldn't react to it. You know, I walked down the street and someone go, oh, Michelle Kahn. I'm like, oh, oh sorry, that's me. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> so no, it's Michelle Yo. <laughs> when I, I was a stand-up comic and my real name is Roseanne. And so this club owner said, from now on, kid, you're Rosie O'Donnell. And it took like five years. People go, Rosie, I'd keep walking. Because it didn't <laughs> feel like me. No one had ever called me until I was 20. And you took it, though? You liked it, Rosie O'Donnell? You, you know just... why? Because when I did stand-up in Brooklyn, they'd go, and our next comedian, Roseanne O'Donnell. And people thought, Rosanna Dana. And they uh -huh. thought I was going to do a Gilda Radner impression. Oh, <laughs> so then I'd yeah. go up there and they'd go, you're not Gilda Radner, you stink. And then I was like, oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> so that's how it became Rosie. I see. Yeah, it's little stories of my life oh. maybe to add to your journal, okay. Michelle. All right, <laughs> I'll put it out. Thank you. Now, you are so uh, amazing in this physically to begin with. That all of the stunts. Now, you did most of your own stunts, did you not? Yes. So yeah. did I. Yes, so yeah. did you, yes. <laughs> Come on, yeah, we did, both of us together. Maybe don't lift my leg as high as she does, but, you know, <laughs> that could be good, she's got good legs. Now, did you get hurt at all, Michelle? Because... Uh, fortunately, no, fortunately, no. Uh, you know, it's well prepared, it's well rehearsed, and by the time we get there, we know exactly what we're doing, so. Right. But the underwater sequences were a little harrowing, you know, mm. it was very claustrophobic, and uh, we Miserable. were swimming up these little tubes without the oxygen and all that. I yeah. got stuck going up one of the tubes. That oh, was really? not a nice experience, really. No. no. Scary, I'll bet. Yes. It's like, oh. <gasps> <laughs> now, when, when you were uh, told that you were going to be uh, offered a part in a Bond film, what was your first feeling? Uh, actually, the first time when I heard about it was two years ago when I was having a meeting with Jeff Kleeman, a studio executive from UA. He looked at me and he was going, you'd be perfect in a Bond film. And I thought, great, I get to play James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a high five on that, yeah. Michelle. That's funny. She's after like my that. job. She's after my job. <laughs> But this was not a typical Bond girl that you were No, offered, no. no. Um, at that time, he said, no, 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 you're going to be a Bond girl. And I picked up a pillow and I threw it at him. Right. So he realized I didn't want to be the typical Bond girls. Right. So last year when he called my managers and he says, I think we've got it because, you know, we've been brainstorming in London, the writers, Roger Spottis were the director, Barbara Broccoli, Michael Wilson. They want a woman of the 90s, someone strong, independent, and, and you know, I Bond. wasn't available because of the I show. I know, that's right. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God. I, I'm forever in your debt for that. Can you imagine? First of all, me in the wardrobe is funny enough. 
<laughs> but uh, we have a scene of you kicking a little butt here from uh, the new James Bond Tomorrow Never Dies. Take a look at Michelle Yeoh right here. <laughs> I stopped by. I could have taken care of him. That's what I like. I think it's the end. It seemed like uh, you must have had fun. Did you have fun? Oh, yes. Yeah. I had such a fabulous time making this film. I heard that you were a prankster on the set. True or false? True. What did you do? <laughs> Used to get she it. likes water. She likes hosing <laughs> people down. You do. You yes. would squirt everybody really? with water guns. Yeah. You Spray, do. you know, in the most obnoxious places when they were not looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did they ever get you back? Well, what happened was on the. Fo well, I was always in wardrobe, so they couldn't get me, right? I would right. walk around, spray them, and they'd be like, oh, but they wouldn't. They couldn't. But on the last day of filming, both of us were supposed to jump into this well. So we're standing there waiting for this scene to be, to be done. And I turned around, and I saw my special effects crew charging out with this fire hose. Oh, really? <laughs> I saw them. And this guy's like, yo, <laughs> looks like your time has come. <laughs> I, looked, I looked at him. I turned around. I grabbed hold of him. I was around him like this, hands and feet. And he couldn't get me off. He's like, no, 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 get off me, get off me. And they sprayed the two of <laughs> Hey, we're a team, right? We're That's a good right. team. Exactly. We're a good team. Yo and yeah. Brosnan. stick Brosnan together. Brosnan. Yeah. 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 Well, I hope that you're back for the next one, because you were great in this one. And it's such an enjoyable movie. And it you're delightful fun. together. There's yeah. a great chemistry yeah. between the Thank two you. of you, yeah. on stage and off. Good. Yeah. All right. All right. We're both in stripes. It. Okay. No, look. Yeah. We coordinated everything. We call each other every day. What are you wearing today? It's lovely to have you back, Michelle. Congratulations and Thank continued you. success. Thank you. Michelle Yo, we'll be back with Jonathan Price right after this. <laughs>